with a serious gamer. Hey, Next Gen Tactics, it's Guns for Hire, another new series, High Kill Death Ratio. This, uh, and this is on Ambush for Call of Duty 4, obviously that's what it said. Um, this series here is actually sort of like, it's like a hybrid. It's a hybrid of both camping and easy routes. To be effective, uh, at least the way that I do it, uh, and on any game really, uh, Call of Duty wise, and I'm assuming it should be the same as the others, I don't know, I haven't really experimented too much. But anyway, you have to know how to manipulate the maps. You need to know the safe routes, but you also need to know transition areas. And transition areas is what camping relies on. You don't camp in a spot, like if you want to get kills by camping, you don't camp in a spot where nobody runs through, where nobody passes through. And that's what I mean by transition areas. Transition areas are sort of like intersections or places where you know a lot of routes uh, go through. It's kind of like being a hunter. You got to know where the animals, to, to track animals and trap animals, you have to know their paths. You have to know where they go, uh, where they run through, and it's no different in this. The more you play a game, the more you're going to find those places out. And even just playing yourself, you're going to figure out, you know, what seems to make sense. And what makes sense to you, chances are it's going to make sense to someone else. So those are the areas you sort of want to trap. Now the high kill death ratio, what what this relies on is running through the easy routes to get to these transition areas. Because you don't, if you want a high kill death ratio, camping yes, you can get kills and stay there and you can stay there for a, a certain period of time but after a while you're going to get spammed to death with uh, frag, semtex or whatever it is. Oh yeah, love picking up other people's weapons and using them <laughs> against them. It's the best. Oh, so close. I think I die here. I mean, I die four times, so whatever. Anyway, um, so you want to be able to get use the easy routes to get to the spots uh, where the transition areas are. Make some kills, but the difference is once you make one or two kills, you want to move. You don't want to stay there because you don't want to risk getting uh, spammed with grenades or people pinching you or trying to surround you because whoever you kill there... If they watch it, and most of the times they will, even if they don't watch the kill uh, kill cam, they're going to figure out, they're going to be like, you know what, if they, he's a camper, and there's a lot of campers in these games, so if, they're, if they assume that you're a camper, like that, see that was a camp position, but I move, I make the kill, and I get the hell out of there, then I assume he's going to come through, that's when I use the, the claymore, there we go, pick up some weapons, always do that, whenever you're, the best thing that you can do, is pick up weapons uh, as you're going through. Don't forget that. If you're getting low... Uh, do I even get that kill? No. That's bad. I wonder if I'm going to get... I don't even remember actually half these games because I just record. Like, I mean, when I'm recording these... And by the way, these aren't just like... I'm not just recording random games. When I try and record something for high kill death ratio, then I'm actually doing a high kill death ratio strategy. I'm not actually just randomly... I know... Uh, maybe some of you question and some directors probably do that you just and, and some of you may do that if you're new to videos But don't do that if you've got something and you actually want to help people play a game Have a certain tactic in mind and try and stick with it. I mean you you look at my camping uh, Videos, it's pretty easy to see that I'm camping. You know what I mean? My my primary purpose is to camp hard I mean you do move after a while because you still don't want to die, but you, you camp from one spot you camp it hard you get a lot of high kills from it, and then you move. But in this here strategy here, whenever I'm thinking, okay, I need to record something for high kill death ratio, then I know I'm like, okay, easy routes, and then camp and move. So it's camp, kill and move, camp, kill and move, and that's what I do here. And I know those are transition areas. Oh, you don't want to stay in the same spot, especially with me. I mean, when I play Call of Duty Four. My favorite weapon in the entire universe is the MP5 Red Dot. Absolute, you know, I don't, hands down. I mean, I like the M16, but that's because it's an easy kill weapon. And, and arguably so is this, or else I wouldn't use this, right? Uh, but the MP5K, I love it. I mean, it's, it allows you to move. I swear to God, I wish that, uh, I wish Modern Warfare 2 had this. I would absolutely probably love the game so much more. Screw the, the ump, the UMP. Man, if the MP5 was there, and for those of you that never played this game, I guarantee you, you would love the MP5. It is such an amazing game. 
It is so, uh, not an amazing game. An amazing weapon. So, so versatile. It's just... Oh my god, I'm so upset. When I heard that Modern Warfare 2 actually was going to be uh, putting the MP5 in Modern Warfare 2, I was like, yeah, and then I found out it was a modified version. Annoying. So as you'll see here, um, I am on the move, but I'm not just constantly running around. If you look at my easy routes, I typically move constantly. It's a, a pure running gun, whereas this is sort of like a hybrid. It's, it's run, stop, kill, and then move. You know, run, stop, kill, move, and keep going like that. That's all I'm doing. Uh, to actually to get kills and I find this to be quite honest is the absolute smartest way to play these games running around like even with easy routes which is just showing you sort of pathways is not smart it's not smart gameplay it's not I mean I know some of you guys are able to do it but you can't it's it's hard to do it consistently Whereas this you're using your brain you're thinking tact uh, tactfully and you're thinking okay you know what is it tactily I don't know. You know what I mean. You're using your noggin. <laughs> so, uh, oh, spray. Holy. And they kill these handguns. Look at these handguns are horrible. Ah, whatever. We're coming near the end anyway. As you notice, so it's, it's get into transition area, get a couple of kills, move to the next one. Don't stay in the next one or anticipate that they're coming. Anyway, we lost, but I still did well. Um, that's it. That's it for the high kill death ratio. I'm Guns for Hire from Next Gen Tactics. Peace.